Hi guys, welcome to our last video about the 13 litre round still. We've already discussed the still, the basic still, we've discussed the starter pack, all the things that's included in there. Now let's look at the optional attachments because this is the baby you start with, but then you can grow it and do some weird and wonderful and interesting things with it. So this basic still, as I've said, can make rum, it can make brandy, it can make whiskey, it can make mampur, it can make moonshine, it can make flavorful products. But if you want to go neutral, if you want to make vodka, or let's say you want to make neutral spirits for um, gin, or let's say you want to make high purity alcohol because you want to make your own homemade sanitizers, now we need to get at a high percentage. And although it can come out of the still at a high percentage in the beginning, the alcohol percentage starts to drop relatively quickly, as happens in any Olympic style still, which is what this type of still uh, is referred to because it has a vapor chamber on top. So you need something that can push that alcohol percentage a little bit higher. And we do that by applying what we refer to as reflux. Now those of you that's, gonna, that's done training with us, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those of you that don't, watch out for our online training courses that will be available quite soon. Now to turn this into a high reflux or adjustable reflux still, we use extensions. Now the first extension, this is the budget model, this is the, uh, the, the easy way or the cheaper way to do it. We've got an extension tube. This tube is then filled with copper mesh, which already with the increased height and the increased resistance given by the mesh. It firstly reserves and removes more sulfites, which is why we use copper and stills, but it also gives you additional reflux, already increasing the purity of the distillate that's going to come out. But then at the top, we've got this little mini main reflux condenser. Now this reflux condenser allows you to control water flow through this section. Basically, it's like putting a little chiller on top of the still, and that then decre uh, increases the purity of the distillate that comes out. So now you can take where you would normally get about 70%, start at 70, 75% and drops down. Now using this main reflux condenser and the extension, you can push that all the way to 95% purity during the distillation run. So that just goes on top of the still like so. You still have your bend on there and then at the bottom of the bend you still put your condenser. Now because we're now using adjustable reflux, we now need to continuously monitor how pure is the alcohol coming out of the still. So at the bottom of this reflux of the spirit condenser, we now put a parrot, a distillation parrot. Why do we call it a parrot? Because it's got tail feathers, a body, and a beak. That's why we call it a parrot. It's got this little surge arrestor on top here as well to stop what we refer to as the glug glug effect. Because we don't want air flowing in here going to look, 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 look. We want steady liquid flow into the parrot. And there floats our alcohol meter in the parrot, giving us an accurate reading how strong is the alcohol coming out of a still right now. Alcohol percentage starts to drop. You increase the water flow through the main reflux condenser and you push up the purity. Quick, easy, no mess, no fuss. Little step up from this is then our small little glass plate column. So in here we've got four plates. Again, those of you that's done training with us before, you'll be uh, uh, familiar with fractionating reflux column stills. That's basically what this is now. We're putting in some plate sections in there, again topped by a main reflux condenser. This is an easier way to control. It also uh, gives more internal reflux inside the column, and it comes with this thermometer at the top so you can measure your vapor temperature at the top of your column. That allows you to very quickly and easily control the purity coming out of your still right now. You can see this one here next to me. This is assembled just without the thermometer at the top, but that's what it would look like fully assembled. Now let's say you don't want to go all the way to vodka, but you, you like double distilled or triple distilled whiskey, slightly higher purity coming out of the distillation process, not as grainy in taste, so you want to distill at a slightly higher pro, uh, level. Now you can put it through the still twice, that will be double distilled, but that takes a bit of time, you're in a rush, you don't want to wait that long, you want to, don't want to distill for two days, you want to get it done now. Then we've got a T-section, now this T-section slots in here between the boiler and the vapor chamber, and inside the T-section is a bubble plate. So this turns the T-section into one of these types of bubble plates, giving you a double distillation in a single run. And you can put in two of them for a triple distillation in a single run. So now you're getting out your, uh, your product or your distillate at 70 to 75 to 80 to 85 percent out of the distillation process. More similar to what an Irish or Scottish style whiskey would be when they double or triple distill. 
Now, let's say you're not interested in rum or gin, or sorry, rum or brandy or any of those products. You're a gin drinker. Now, first you need to make the vodka. All right, so you'll need a, one of the two reflux based, um, options in order to make your vodka or your neutral spirits. But now you need a way to put the flavors, the botanical flavors, inside your gin that you want to make. Now, as I mentioned, you can go infuse distillation, put it here in the bottom of the boiler, run it on induction plates so it doesn't burn, and you can do it that way. But the other option is vapor infusion. Now, for vapor infusion, we've got a couple of different options. You've got a small uh, botanical chamber like this, comes with a little sieve that goes again in here between the boiler and the vapor chamber, put your botanicals in there, distill through it, and you've infused your flavors. If you want to do a slightly more botanicals, you use a larger one. So you can do a larger run, you don't have to replenish the botanicals so much. Same thing happens, you sieve in there between the boiler and the vapor chamber, and you distill through the botanicals. This extension is also long enough to turn this still into essential oil still. If you want to do essential oils, you put water in there, fill it up with the botanicals and distill through it, and you extract your essential oils. If you want to go a little bit more fancy, then we've got the glass ginning section. This is also big enough to use for essential oils, or you can just use it for your botanicals. It already has its sieve on the inside, a carbonized copper sieve. Put your botanicals in there. It slots in once again between the boiler and the vapor chamber, the U-bend and the spirit condenser, and you do your gin infusion. And then the last option we have for this still is to link it up to our little vacuum pump here. This is a water recirculation vacuum pump. This is if you want to do vacuum extraction or vacuum ginning, vacuum steam infusion, or just vacuum distillation. You can hook this still up to a vacuum pump and then a vacuum flask, and you can do vacuum distillation with this still as well. Very weird to see when you're actually boiling water in it, which we've done in test, and you're actually holding the still in your hands while water is boiling at 20, 25 degrees Celsius. Very interesting to see, but a lot of practical applications which we'd know of if you've done training with us. So that's our 13 meter round still, both the basic, the starter kit, and all the possible uh, attachments you can add to it. So if you're interested, go to our website, www.distleak.co.za, and order one now.